Welcome back to Open Line. We have with us State Senator Mark Pody, Republican from Lebanon, talking about what's going on um, in the legislature as they're on a break tonight and they could wrap up for the entire year in a two-year session tonight or tomorrow. Um, and we've been talking about some of the abortion bills that have been um, moving through the legislature this year, some that have been proposed, some that have passed. Uh, let's go to Jacob. Hello, Jacob. Yeah. Go right ahead. All right, uh, Mr. Mark Pody. Yes, this Mark. Yeah, this is Jacob, uh, Jacob Bashford. You sat on my front porch when you started running. Yes, Jacob. Yeah, I just want to know, do you think that term limits should be put forth for candidates? Because that's what you told me, that term limits should be put forth. Do you believe that should be? Jacob? That's a great question, Jacob, and, and I actually do. And the very first bill that I ran was for term limits. Now, it didn't pass, but I ran that bill. Um, and when I got elected the last time as a state representative, uh, that very night on my election night, I said this was my last term as a state representative. And, and so election night, when I was um, counting all the votes, I said this is it. And I'd served then eight years. Uh, so. Uh, I was done being a state representative. However, when the special election came for a different office, which would be the state senator, um, I ran for that. So I picked up, and but I believe that term limits for state senate as well. I believe term limits across the board. So what are the limits? So your bill would have done what? How uh, long for a representative? How long for a senator? Twelve years. Two two terms. Two terms. Or? Well, it would have been um, three terms. I guess. Yeah, for a senator it would have been three terms, right. and for a state representative it would have been six terms. Okay. Uh, but I ended mine before that, and I announced that before that. But um, the bill that I ran was saying that once somebody was up there 12 years, that that was long enough. So why do you, um, why isn't it enough just to have people vote the person out? Why do we need term limits? And, and that's a really good question because, you know, we actually have term limits every two years or every election cycle. We have a, a form of term limits. Uh, however, once somebody is an incumbent, they, I don't want to say they have an unfair advantage, but they, they have, they ha they do have an advantage that their name is out there a little bit more, and it seems sometimes it's a little bit easier for them to maybe raise funds or do different things that way, uh, and I kind of like the idea that fresh eyes and fresh people in there is the way that our country was set up and we shouldn't be career politicians we should be able to get in there um, stay in that specific office for that period of time then if you want to move on to another office that's fine um, but don't don't stay in that office forever so you would you would like 12 years um, no more as a state senator 12 years 12 years um, you know, Metro Council has, here in Nashville, has term limits, and, and when that happened, all of a sudden a lot of the institutional knowledge left. Yes. So it's one of those things that sounds great, and then there's a downside maybe people didn't think about. And, and I can tell you there is a lot of benefit to the institutional knowledge. That is very uh, good point. And that's why w when we first started, I was thinking maybe eight years or shorter. But because of that institutional knowledge, you need new people to call, always replacing people. But there should be always a standard of somebody that says, I know what happened um, one or two administrations ago. And, and that way it's not the... Um, administration or the the government the government itself running itself you would need people in there that knows what happens and do you think it speaks to the need for um, campaign finance reform if incumbents win with such regularity that you're saying there should just be term limits should there should or is there some need in in, in the since we don't have term limits mm -hmm. for campaign finance reform is there a problem they win so easily so often um, I'm open to that kind of discussion. I've not carried that bill or actually looked at it to say whether we should or shouldn't, but I'm not opposed to having that kind of conversation. So, all right, we don't have a lot of time left. You're going to go back up to the legislature. What, what is, um, what, what, how much longer are they going to go on tonight, and what do you expect to happen tonight, and you think it's going to go into tomorrow? All right, so this is a two-year session, so the 110th General Assembly always meets for two years, and then the 111th will start next January. Uh, 
Tonight, we're going to go in and debate basically one bill, and it's going to be, can we do more to protect the teachers? Ben, I want to find a way to protect our teachers stronger than what we've done already. If there's a way that we can pull that bill back over from the House, and the House has done a good job, so I don't want to throw them under the bus. They've done a good job. They've gotten good amendments on there to help, and we've got to find a way to maybe come alongside them. Now, if we don't, it doesn't mean we haven't done anything for the teachers. We have done some good things. We have limited so the school boards, the local school boards, can make decisions about what they want and if they want to count these or not. We've tried to protect the students, so the students are fully protected as well. But if I can do a little bit more, I will for the teachers. Now, the House said that they were going to adjourn when we went on recess. So if they don't come back tonight, that means we have to come back tomorrow to adjourn um, with them. So we'll have to wait and see if they're coming back tonight or if they're going to actually go home. What do you think? Um, I think they're, they're going to go home. I think that this is a game of chicken <laughs> between the House and the Senate, and I think they're going to try and hold their, um, their ground on this. And sooner or later, both sides got to come together to find common ground to, to work it out. And what about the company itself? You said at the top of the show you think something should be done to claw back money that the state has paid, but is is what what is being done as far as the company itself? We have 45 seconds left. Right, so they're going to have to come before either a fiscal review or government operations, but sooner or later somebody's going to have to come back and look at that contract and say, you did not fulfill the contract the way that it was supposed to be done. We paid you good money in good faith with this expectation, and how are you going to reimburse the state for what you've put us through? All right. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll come back, wrap everything up. Be back right after this.